From a humble beginning in 1994, Good News Mission Church has blossomed and become one of the fastest growing and most authentic church in Kenya. In 1993, uh, there was an expo uh, held in Korea. At that time, few Kenyan came to Korea. They were connected to our church. Uh, next year, 1994, the Minister of uh, uh, Industry and Commerce invited uh, Pastor Oksu Park, who is uh, our founder, to Kenya. He preached in Nyayo Stadium, and soon two missionaries were dispatched uh, to Kenya. In fact, uh, I came in this uh, church uh, in the month of November 1996. And uh, that time the church was very small and it was very small indeed uh, to the point that uh, members that were in the church were just uh, around 10 members. And uh, all of those members actually, even today they are still here, but to me they became like the pillars of the church. And now the church has grown, it has got branch churches in Kenya, it has got uh, also the Kenya church actually serves as uh, the base camp to establish some other churches in this uh, region of East, East and Central Africa. And missionaries passed from here and they went to elsewhere. There are some also Kenyan missionaries that were raised up in this church. They went to start missions elsewhere. With the thousands of membership stretching from all corners of the country, it has been a journey that has spanned two decades proclaiming the true gospel that many in largely Christian population never understood before. Even though so many people go to church to attend service because uh, they don't know how to wash away their sin precisely based on the Bible, so many are still on the sin. They are disconnected from God. It is a big problem. As long as uh, they are not true Christian, they have nothing to do with Jesus. If they are sinners, then they can never go to the kingdom of God. Because, you know, the Bible says they follow uh, peace with all men and holiness. And that's Hebrews, actually. Holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Without being holy, you cannot see the Lord. Good News Mission Church offers an all-year spiritual nourishment through forums like the World Camp, World Christian Leadership Forums, and the National Peace Bible Crusade, NPBC. Uh, like two years ago, we had a big uh, Bible crusade at Nyayo National Stadium. It was called uh, the National Peace Bible Crusade. It was supported by many uh, Kenyan pastors, uh, a thousand of them, and they were together with us. And uh, thereby also, there are many people who were able to see that there is a contradiction in the spiritual life of so many people here in Kenya. And that's why they listened to the word of God. They were very thankful. So I can see now Kenya Church, this Good News Mission Church, has become a full-fledged church in Kenya, which is able to guide many people to Jesus and allow them to you know, experience the life in Jesus as they are being blessed continuously by Jesus. <laughs> The National Peace Bible Crusade in particular for many years has provided opportunities for church leaders in Kenya to share and rethink on their theological beliefs and at the end discover what true salvation is. Pastor Park is a, a man with a true gospel, a winning souls to the kingdom of God and is a man who is a visionary. He is uh, committed to God and uh, he lives in righteousness. He's a, you know, he's, he's not an entertainer, he speaks the true word of God. Good News Mission Church has also instituted a youth program, the International Youth Fellowship, commonly known as the IYF. 
Uh, IUIF uh, is uh, unique uh, from any other youth NGO organization and because uh, our main aim is to uh, do a development project which maybe other in a youth organization might have but especially we are focusing on development of a youth mindset because nowadays uh, youth have actually a lot of problem not only in Kenya around the whole world but we believe that this problem actually comes from having the wrong and weak mindset. In uh, academics, they do the mind but not the heart. And really in life, it's about the heart. It's about attitude. It's about mindset. It's, and uh, we've been working with IYF and we'll continue to work with IYF. And uh, all the requests that is given, we'll give due consideration and we'll put them together. Youth are future of Kenya. However, uh, youth uh, uh, don't grow up with a sound mind. They cannot live a sound life. They cannot be a good leader. The organization represented in over 80 countries globally was launched in Kenya in 2007 and its impact in shaping future leaders in creating mutual understanding through global fellowships continues to be recognized fully in the country. Not only Kenya, around the whole world, uh, many Ministry of Youth, they have given their youth program to IUIF. And so such case like Zambia, and they have given the whole youth program to IUIF, and now they are building the IUIF Youth Center there, and they are also uh, having in charge of uh, all youth programs. So in the same way, in Kenya, we also had I, I, uh, MOU, we concluded MOU together with Ministry of Youth. And uh, it's been already six years and we've been working together. And uh, about three, four years ago, uh, we also received the request to uh, train all youth leaders. And so in partnership, about 2,000 youth gathered together and then we trained the youth leaders. Some of the youth that have gone through the program are now professionals in various fields. I joined IOF in 2008. After going through all the programs, I'm now working in IOF facility department as a welder. Together, we cordially invite you to come and meet pastors and also experience the true gospel. Enjoy Christian cantata and watch live the number one Christian team, the Gracious Choir, on stage at the Good News Mission Church Nairobi and branches near you. Good News Mission Church, with the gospel to the end, with the Lord to the last. Amen.